With all the snow, much of the city's annual budget has been used scooping and plowing. As you've probably noticed, this weather only compounds the poor road conditions in Ames. Potholes are everywhere, and they're a problem. With the thawing and the freezing of the snow, small cracks in the asphalt become monster potholes. And these potholes are ruining tires and rims everywhere for drivers. Student Danielle Gibbons says her tire popped last fall from an unfilled pothole. Just driving along and I just heard this really loud noise and it scared me like I was really scared because I thought like something hit my windshield like that's how loud it was. And so then the next day I drove to Des Moines and when I got to Des Moines it was like totally flat and the rim was like bent. Public Works Operations Superintendent Dave Cole says incidents like these are not uncommon and often happen with the melting snow. So the city tries preventing them by prioritizing the streets for maintenance. We concentrate on the major streets first and then um, we'll go to those other streets later. Even with their priority schedule, many holes don't get patched. Given says the hole that popped her tire last fall is still there. Maybe I should have contacted the city and told them so that they could have maybe reimbursed me or fixed it because I know it's still not fixed and it's been a few months now. Cole recommends calling the city risk manager if you notice a large pothole that may cause damage. But if your tire's the victim of one, it's up to you to fix it. Now if we've been notified that this pothole is really bad and we take say a week to fix it and four calls come in because people have ruined the tire after we've been notified then we may be liable. If you do ruin a tire from a pothole you can submit a claim to the risk manager but don't hold your breath most claims aren't reimbursed. For iState News this is Jenna Nickel with Chris Reeves. Keep in mind that not all streets in Ames actually belong to the city of Ames. Some belong to the university, and a few, like South Duff, Grand, and Lincoln Way, are owned by the state of Iowa.